वेलकम बैक गाइस टू द चैनल थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू वॉच मेगाउट वुड ट्रीटमेंट एट होम एंड मेगाउट रिमूवल आल्सो शी इज चवन शी इज़ वन ऑफ माय अडॉप्टेड स्ट्रीट डॉग एंड शी गॉट इंजर्ड बाय मेगाउट वुड एक्चुअली इट वॉज अ डॉग बाइट दैट कन्वर्टेड इन अ मेगाउट वुड The month of August, September, and October are the breeding season of stray dogs in India. Female go on heat, and when the breeding starts, some of the dog bite each other, and that cause a serious injury that can be converted into maggot wound, as you can see now. This wound is in very early stage, as you can see the larva of the house flies in that wound. at first i am going to apply godback powder on the maggot wound this powder works very well it helps to remove all the maggots inside the wound fill the maggot wound completely with the godback powder it help to recover from the meiosis wound also known as maggot wound after some time you will see the maggot will come out by their itself this powder makes them crawl out of the wound it has some chemical substances and some kind of odor and smell which makes them to come out instantly from the wound they are in very large number inside the wound always remember treatment given at the early stages saves your pet lives and also saves your money now i am going to remove all the maggots one by one manually by a special kind of uh, tweezers this tweezer is used to remove ticks and maggots also so right now i am removing all the maggots one by one this wound was at very early stage as you can see there were three small holes and the maggots are in very small size larva these are the babies or the larvas of the house flies aka known as maggots these maggots are so dangerous that they can eat your pet alive within one week or you can say within 4 to 5 days so it is better to remove them quickly because as the time passes they go bigger and bigger and eat your pet's body parts from the inside these maggots crawl inside your pet skin or flesh and they started eating your pet slowly slowly and they produces rotten smell which you can't resist after removing the maggots now i am going to apply neem shampoo solution inside the wound because some of the maggots are still inside the wound and the order of the neem or you can say the bitterness of the neem helps to remove rest of the maggots inside the wound so now i will tell you how this maggots get inside your pet's body see whenever your dog has any kind of wound or injury and when it starts releasing pus and when it lefts untreated so flies find these wounds because flies get attracted towards rotten or the things where it has discharge of pus so they lay their eggs inside the wound of your pet's body and after that the eggs hatch and they produces larva and after 2 or 3 days these larvae these larvae started growing bigger and bigger and starting eating your pet's body and within 3 to 4 days or 4 to 5 days these larva convert into adult house flies so after removing all the maggots and wiping out the pus always remember to cover that wound with cotton balls today is day 2 of the treatment i hope the wound will be somewhere good not completely but somewhere good now let's go to see the wound uh, see 
it has no maggots inside it and it is somewhere healthy now i am going to repeat that procedure i am wiping out all the pus and the discharges from that wound so that flies won't get attracted towards it and now i will tell you some medicine it is betadine solution it helps to heal the wound very fastly it is one of the most effective medicine available in the indian market today is third day of the treatment always remember don't forget to fill that wound with cotton balls because because it blocks the pathway of the house fly to lay their eggs inside the wound and on the third day you can see the wound is looking much better as compared to the first day so i am repeating same again all the procedures wiping out all the infections and the dead skins and applying betadine solution to it and filling the holes with cotton balls today it's fourth day of maggot wood treatment now we will see how the wound is basically we need only three kinds of medis medicines to treat this maggot wound first is cod back powder neem shampoo and beta d see today the wound looks much better as compared to first second and third day the depth of the wound is getting less day by day because due to the dressing and the beta d medicine which is helping to recover the wound very fast today it's fifth day of maggot wood treatment the proper dressing and wiping out of the dead skins help to recover the wound very fast now we will go to see the condition of the wound this street dog looks much relaxed and happier today because somewhere it ha the wound has been healed see the depth of that wound is getting lesser and lesser day by day and there is no sign of pus and rotten smell there is no sign of rotten smell and pus discharge again i am going to apply beta d in medicine on that wound and today i will not fill that wound with cotton balls because the wound has been healed and it it does not have proper depth today it's sixth day of maggot wood treatment now we are going to see the condition of wound as you can see now the wound has 80% healed there is no depth inside the wound and it looks much better pinkish and reddish in color that means the new skin has started generating so i am not going to apply any medicine today today it's seventh day of maggot wood treatment and i am hoping better result today so now let's go to see the wound i barely find that wound it has been filled completely now it is 90% healed it's eighth day after the treatment of maggot wound and today the wound is looking 95% healed and there is no sign of any kind of damage or serious injury it looks well so she is fine now and she is completely healed if you like my little efforts towards street animals please do subscribe and support untold truth thanks for watching